Okay, you're gonna like this video. It's gonna be short and sweet, but you're gonna like it. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but um, other than photography, I'm a guy that knows a lot about field theory. When it comes to field theory, that includes light. Yeah, and scientifically experimenting on all sorts of stuff with freaky equipment and liquid nitrogen and lasers and all that crap, basically all my life. Um, right now, <laughs> some people have told me there's a thread over on Diaper Review, and it's called Glass is Evil. Apparently some people that like my videos uh, started and are arguing. It's a saying that I've actually said. And how this pertains to you, especially for photography, is especially if you're a black and white photographer, this is very important. Or if you love all those intertonal details, micro contrast, Zeiss pop, those words have been around long before I was even born. Zeiss pop, micro contrast, lens pop, it goes by a lot of different, uh, different names. The really easy way to explain this, I'm going to let you look at this diagram here and then I'm going to explain this diagram because these people are so stupid. You know how like sunrises and sunsets are red? Do you know that shit? It's like even a little child's like, ah, eh, sunrises and sunsets are red, but the sky is blue. Why is that, Papa? You know, the sun is, the sun is orange when it's on the horizon. Or red. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting, isn't it? You see... Air is exactly like glass. It is a clear capacitor. Now, everything in the universe, and this is undeniable, works off of capacitance, resistance, permeability, and permittivity. You see, what I know more than those idiots on these stupid photography forums is that I know how shit works. <laughs> you see, glass, now this is plastic. Let's just pretend it's glass, you know? These people actually think that a coating... I don't have an anti-reflective coating on these lenses, by the way. I do on some of my other lenses. They think a coating, which is microns thin, is ultimately more important than glass, which is many millions of times thicker. Not only that, we got element after element after element after element. So ultimately, they're talking about a few microns of thickness comprising the totality of like 20 plus elements is more important than something that is many, many magnitudes, millions of times thicker, being glass. I don't care if it's thin glass, high index glass, which is thinner, necessitatively. It's still many magnitudes, millions of times thicker. Do you know why the sunset... Oh, my image went away. Do you know why the sunset is red, Johnny? No, no, Papa. Why is the sunrise and sunset red? Well, you see, Johnny... <clears throat> When the sun is at the horizon, meow, or when it rises, or when it's sitting over there, it is passing through a lot more glass. Oh, I mean air. Air, yeah, there we go. We got air. What's the difference between air and glass, Papa? Nothing. Nothing. They are both clear insulators and capacitors. Let me grab a capacitor for you over here, little Johnny. Where did my glass capacitor go? I had a glass capacitor over here. I don't know where it went to. <laughs> it's over there somewhere. <sighs> See, these people are really this stupid. Here's another equation you need to feed to them. Planck's constant times the frequency of light equals energy. Now, <clears throat> I don't know if... By the way, this is Rayleigh scattering of uh, blue light in the atmosphere. Percentage-wise, it's 25% versus like 5%. You know how the photoelectric effect works? That means high energy light will create an electrostatic charge in a, uh, in a uh, vacuum sealed uh, Crookes tube. Yeah, <clears throat> let me enlarge this image right here for you. Um, yeah, do you see, and I'll put the, put the link to this image below. You see there that blue light is uh, nearly 3 EV volts and red light uh, visible light is 1.7 EV volts. Yeah, that would be <clears throat> the amount of energy in blue and spectrum light. See, all these people that talking about photography and people point is like, you know, they're discussing that topic you talk about all the time. Some people have emailed me and I'm not the one that initiated that thread. I'm not even a mem member of Diaper Review. And they said, <laughs> they're talking, there's a couple people over there talking about the same stuff that you talk about. It's the thread called uh, Light is Evil. Uh, glass is Evil, excuse me, not Light is Evil. <laughs> and my point is, is that these people, 
Not the people that, uh, you know, are... Uh, they have the fact. The funny thing is, too, that the people that are actually posting some of the stuff that I've said, they actually have all the facts, and the other people that are protesting have none of the facts. See, the people that are protesting are so stupid that they don't even admit that a sunrise and a sunset is red. You know why it's red, Papa? No. It's because the blue light has been... Oh, this is a magical word that you need to learn. Attenuated. <clears throat> Yeah, blue spectrum attenuation. Why is the blue spectrum light attenuated? Oh, you see there, Johnny? 1.77 EV volts red in spectrum visible light and 3 EV volts on blue in spectrum. That means it has higher capacitance and since, since <clears throat> air is a clear capacitor, blue end light is attenuated as it's passing you see when the sun right the sun is on the sun uh, on the horizon over there it's passing through a lot more air oh wow the sunrise is red yeah see this is the fascinating thing basically if you actually sum it down we have people that are so stupid that they've refused to even acknowledge the fact that a sunrise is red the people that are arguing against I use this humorously, saying that glass is evil. The people that are arguing against, you know, this premise, and I said it jokingly, that glass is evil, are literally, literally so stupid that they don't even acknowledge that a sunrise and a sunset is red. Why is it red? Because it's passing through a lot more air. That clear air comprised of nitrogen and oxygen. <coughs> yeah. And some argon is and particles <sighs> is attenuating the blue light that's how literally literally that's how dumb the people are <laughs> the whole universe is capacitance resistance permeability and permittivity i don't know where my glass insulator went to who cares it's glass insulator you know what a glass insulator looks like right yeah so <clears throat> The facts and the math are behind me, girlfriend. Rayleigh scattering? Go look it up. Photoelectric effect? Go look it up. Higher capacitance light gets attenuated more. Energy equals Planck's constant times the frequency of light. <clears throat> yeah, you see this? You see this little math formula right here? Yeah. What this means is that be it glass or air, the more you put in there, the more it's going to attenuate high energy light. What's high energy light? Blue end light. That is why, <clears throat> girls and boys, a sunrise and a sunset looks red. And that is why, boys and girls, a lens that's got a lot of glass in it has poor micro contrast. Poor piss poor. Yeah, it means the intertonal details, which are low-gain signals, is attenuated by the glass. Undeniable, irrefutable fact. There's the goddamn math right there. You see that? That is what I call the GM, the goddamn math. It's undeniable, and it's irrefutable. There is no difference between air and glass. None. That's actually... A uh, uh, <laughs> that's such an acknowledged fact you know air is an insulator yeah they even have stuff called air insulation air insulation glass insulator air insulation hmm yeah it's the same stuff the only difference is one is silicon it's clear sand yeah the other is Nitrogen and oxygen, they're both insulators. They're both capacitors. All atoms in the universe have a set permeability, permittivity, capacitance, and resistance. You see, there's no such thing as a pure insulator. Okay, someone was like, glass is an insulator. It's not a capacitor. It's both, goddammit. It's both. Energy loss coefficients, you know. Why do you think we use silver? We don't use gold and so except for high-end electronics. Why do you think we use silver and gold and, co and copper for goddamn wiring? 
they're, they're resistance to current. Yeah, there's no difference between that and glass and air. So, boys and girls, this video to me is ultimately funny from a really, really nerdy perspective because those people are so stupid that they don't even understand why sunrises and sunsets are red. Because the blue light has been attenuated by passing through so much goddamn air. That is what we call ha 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 an irrefutable fact. Let me talk out about both, ch both channels. An irrefutable fact. F A C T. <coughs> Cue the blends. Cue the uh, the evil eye. Stupid. S-T-O-O-O-O-O-P-I-D. Stupid.